So by now we have already published at least one JavaScript code and that was the hello world alert uh, and that was uh, on a github page and uh, while we will be of course making more web pages with JavaScript actions in it um, we I'm going to be using um, some other tools to show you and get you familiar with the JavaScript language one of them is going to be codepen.io so I'm going to go to that website this is a free service and uh, you need to sign up uh, get a username uh, you you'll get to uh, save some code save some pens that's actually what they call every one of these things uh, there's a lot of cool information here lots of samples on JavaScript CSS HTML so it's a pretty good tool to get familiar with uh, but mostly, like I said, I'm going to use it to show you a little bit about JavaScript as we go along. And by the way, and I do mention this somewhere on the uh, in the announcements, where we'll be using the modern JavaScript tutorial to sort of guide us through JavaScript. There's lots of free resources out there. JavaScript is open source, and uh, there's plenty of information all over the place. But uh, this seems to be... Uh, fairly complete, fairly modern, as they say. Uh, some things that they mention might actually be um, more uh, up to date than other sources. And so let me go back to codepen.io and hopefully by now, if you do have an account, you can follow along. Basically, codepen.io, all it is, it's, it allows you to uh, meld three files all at once. Uh, in this case, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It's as if you had a uh, what you see is what you get kind of code editor. If you have, if you're familiar with Dreamweaver, maybe you know what I'm talking about. Uh, for example, I'll go to the HTML window and type in, give me a header, and uh, then put in some text and close the header. And as I'm typing it you'll see that it starts to display things down there. If I follow, it's very dynamic, not PG, but rather P. And uh, this is a paragraph. And it just does everything. It shows you what the code would actually display as you are typing it. So pardon my mistakes here but you'll see that as soon as I correct them they are displayed below. I uh, won't be dealing with CSS too much right now I'm going to minimize this I'm just click holding down the mouse button and dragging. JavaScript will go on this side so if you remember our very simple command earlier it was um, an alert and I said alert and uh, quote hello world I'll just do hello if I can now as I started to type it it wanted to display it so it's stopping me I'll type it again and this becomes very annoying very quick so here's a uh, piece of advice click on settings and uh, change the behavior to uh, stop auto updating JavaScript is very dynamic, and as soon as you give it a command, it wants to do it. It'll do it one last time. That H that I was able to type, I'll complete the word, hello. And now if I want to see what it actually does, I'll have to run it. And then I'll get an alert that says hello. At any point, I can come back and edit what I just typed in, hello world, and run again and here is my text so um, as I mentioned since we're following the uh, the uh, modern JavaScript tutorial I will be uh, coming back to it and uh, playing along with uh, the lessons uh, just about every JavaScript tutorial out there follows a similar pattern Hopefully, we'll get to cover at least the most important uh, commands, functions, etc. So, please join me in the next video, and uh, we'll talk about variables.